LCS parents, one week down, only 40 weeks left to go. Seems like a really long time. But the first week was a great week. We had a lot of great times here on campus. A few rough times, you know, just like the beginning of any school year, there are some bumps in the road we have to smooth out as we go through. Uh, I've heard uh, a few of the younger kids shed a few tears. I'm not saying any of the older kids haven't either, maybe a teacher or two as well. Uh, the beginning of the school year is always rough for a few individuals, especially for individuals who haven't been on campus in a while. Uh, so we've got some students that uh, came to us from other schools, or even some of our students that were on distance learning last year. Uh, it's been a year and a half for many of those students since they've been inside a classroom. So that kind of transition is going to be difficult on people, so we're trying to help students work through those difficulties. Uh, for the most part, kids are doing great. Uh, again, it's been a really good week. Uh, for the older students, we've already hopped into our curriculum. We started learning. Uh, things are going pretty well there. Uh, some students are still adjusting again to being back in the classroom, so it's taking a little extra work there, but uh, I think everything's on the right track and we're headed in the right direction. All right, a couple things I want to talk to you about this morning. First of all, carpool, both in the morning for drop-off and in the afternoon for pickup. Uh, parents, I just want you to please be considerate during this time. Uh, it is the, actually the most dangerous time here on campus. We've got lots of vehicles moving through a parking lot where we have kids. So we want to make sure that everybody stays as safe as possible. Make sure you're following all the rules and all the instructions uh, of the staff that are here. Also, parents, please try not to show up so early for carpool. I know you want to be the first in line and you want to grab your kids as quickly as possible, uh, but the one thing we need to avoid is backing up traffic on Dover Avenue. Uh, the police department actually doesn't like it. Uh, they haven't come to us yet this year, but in the past they have when things got a little, uh, a little crazy out there. So uh, listen, if you show up at like 3.08, or 310 during carpool, I can almost guarantee you there's hardly any cars here. You can zip in, grab your kid, and zip right back out. Um, so it, carpool moves very quickly when everything is working the way it's supposed to. We just wanna make sure people stay as safe as possible. Uh, also, parents, uh, when you are here at the school, say you've parked your car, please make sure you use crosswalks and sidewalks. Again, it's the most dangerous time and we've got two lanes of traffic coming through. We don't want anybody getting hit. And even if you're watching and you know no cars are coming, it actually sets a poor example for our students if they see parents simply walking across the parking lot. We are preaching to them all the time, use crosswalks and sidewalks, and we wanna make sure we're setting a good example for those younger students here on campus because they are watching, trust me. Students watch and see everything. They're watching, so let's set a good example for them when we're here on campus. All right, a few things on the calendar I wanna to bring to, to light to you guys. Uh, first of all, the beach field trip is next Friday. It's a little bit different than our normal beach field trip. Uh, it's a time for us to get away out of the school and kind of socialize a little bit. Because of COVID-19, uh, we don't want to mix a lot of families into a bunch of different vehicles that normally wouldn't be mixed together. So we are not carpooling this year to the beach field trip, which means parents have to drive their own kids. I understand uh, that means some kids won't be able to go, and that's, that is unfortunate. Uh, but because of the situation right now, we just need to make sure we're as safe as possible. So parent, we, uh, the school is not arranging carpools for students to go, which means if your child is in kindergarten through 12th grade, and parents, you're not going, then it means your child is not going either, which means they won't have school that day. Preschool will still be here. Preschool will be open as usual on Friday, but K through 12, if they're not going to the beach with you, uh, no school that day. We're all going to meet at the beach as well. Normally we meet here and carpool out there, but because parents are driving their own kids, there's no need to meet at the school. So everybody's meeting out at the beach at 10 a.m. and then we'll be heading out from the beach at around 2 p.m. We want to beat that Friday traffic, if you've ever driven uh, home from the beach on Fridays before, it can get pretty bad. Or, because uh, it's just your family, feel free to stay most, you know, most of the late afternoon and you can wait till the traffic dies down and then head home after that. We've got several families I know that have done that in the past as well. But we'll have a great time at the beach, we'll have a sandcastle competition, we'll eat some lunch out there, uh, take some group pictures, do that kind of thing, and then we'll head home. Uh, one last note about the beach, it is not a swimming field trip, it is a beach field trip. So parents, make sure your kids are not out in the water swimming. Ankle deep only is what we allow. And parents, please make sure you're watching your kids when you're out there. All right, September 6th is Labor Day. No school September 6th. That is a Monday. No school on Labor Day. And finally, the middle school and high school retreat is coming up September 21st through the 23rd. Uh, every year I've been at the school, we've done a middle school and high school retreat. It's always been a lot of fun, but two years ago, we went to the Alliance Redwoods and the kids loved it. Uh, honestly, I've had kids begging me to go back ever since. Obviously, we could not do it last year because of COVID, but we are doing it this year, going up to the Alliance Redwoods. It's gonna be a great time. There is an extra fee for that. It's about $185, $185 to go. Uh, for a child, uh, but it is worth it. The kids have a great time. That pays for their food and their lodging. Uh, the kids have a great time. We're, we're going to do Bible studies. We're going to have lots of activities out there. 
Uh, so if, you're, if you've not turned in that permission slip yet and you want your child to go, make sure you get that permission slip in as soon as possible. All right, we're gonna try to do as much as we can this school year. Obviously, the, the situation with COVID and uh, with the states and with uh, rules and regulations and protocols and uh, various other groups as well. Like for example, we love to go on different field trips, but uh, our, our place is even allowing groups to come. We don't know. So as we find out more information throughout the year, we'll put more things on the calendar and notify you guys of those things. To make sure you keep up to date with everything going on here at Fairfield Christian School, make sure you're getting our weekly email. Those come out on Sundays. Lots of great information on that. Angela works hard to put those things together, so make sure you guys are checking those things out. Uh, invariably, I get uh, questions from parents about, I didn't, uh, what about this? I didn't, I didn't know about this. Nobody told me about this. And the, my first question is usually, did you check the weekly email? And the answer is usually no, because we put a lot of information in those emails. So make sure you check those out. Again, we're going to have lots of great stuff going on throughout the year. Again, only 40 weeks left. We're counting down. Every, every week in chapel, we count down those weeks. So uh, we're excited about the first week being down. We're excited about the next 40 weeks coming. Hope you guys have a great week. Hopefully I see you guys next Friday at the beach. God bless.